could niacin be one of the most beneficial supplements for the body when it comes to regrowing your hair? Well, we are going to answer that, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel, Leon here. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed YouTube videos all about how you can improve hair loss and regrow healthy hair. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to show you the three positive effects which niacin has been scientifically proven to produce, namely improved blood circulation, reduced scalp inflammation and induced keratin production, and how these effects have an impact on hair growth. Then I'll show you how you can use niacin yourself for hair growth results, as well as what you can expect when you supplement your diet and hair care routine with niacin rich ingredients. First things first, what is niacin? Well, niacin is also commonly referred to as a vitamin B3, and it's an organic compound and an essential human nutrient. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the positive effects of niacin. The first thing that we're gonna look at is that niacin can actually improve blood circulation to the scalp. An important aspect of hair loss treatment research is not only the testing of possible medications and natural remedies for treatment, but also research on possible causes related to hair loss. One such research study was performed by Klemp, Peters and Hansted at the University of Copenhagen. With a total of 28 volunteers, 14 of which suffered from early male pattern baldness and 14 of which were similarly aged and had normal hair growth and fullness, um, Researchers measured subcutaneous blood flow to determine if such was a factor in alopecia. Interestingly, on average, subcutaneous blood flow was actually 2.6 times lower in men with early male pattern baldness than their healthy counterparts. As the study was only concerned with current blood flow levels, there are still a few unanswered questions. Most significantly, researchers were unable to determine whether the lowered blood flow was the cause of male pattern baldness or whether it was a side effect. No matter the answer, however, blood circulation is vital to the overall health of the scalp and hair follicles. After all, blood delivers oxygen and other necessary nutrients to the hair follicles, and this is needed for the growth of hair to continue uninterrupted. So what can be done to increase blood flow to the scalp? Well, one treatment possibility is niacin. A common side effect of niacin supplementation is flushing. This side effect occurs as a direct result of niacin's ability to dilate dermal blood vessels and increase the flow of blood throughout the body. Further, niacin has been shown to reduce the viscosity or thickness of blood. This only further improves niacin's abilities to increase circulation, including in the scalp and hair follicles. The second thing that we're going to look at is niacin's ability to reduce scalp inflammation. The majority of studies which discuss niacin's anti-inflammatory abilities are focused on its role and prevention of cardiovascular diseases. These studies, however, are still useful as they show niacin's ability to reduce certain whole body inflammation markers. One such study was performed by Thones et al. and it showed promising results for those looking to reduce levels of high sensitivity C-reactive protein within the body. In fact, the volunteers treated with niacin in this 52-week study saw a 20% decrease in this inflammatory marker. In another study, this time done by Karakagla et al, found the difference in levels of HSCRP in the group that did and didn't have the uh, niacin treatment also found the results significant. As stated, these studies were focused on niacin's role in cardiovascular disease prevention, but remember, however, that HSCRP is a marker for inflammation anywhere in the body. This means that high levels of HSCRP can certainly indicate increased level of cardiovascular disease, but they could also indicate uncontrolled inflammation in other areas of the body, such as the scalp. The fact that niacin reduces the levels of HSCRP within the body is an important takeaway for hair loss sufferers. This means that niacin has anti-inflammatory properties which can also benefit those looking to reduce the inflammation and irritation present within the scalps of those sensitive to DHT. The third point that we're going to look at is that niacin rebuilds keratin. Perhaps one of niacin's most direct hair growth benefits is its keratin inducing effects. Keratin is a fibrous structural protein and it's responsible for protecting epithelial cells and tightly packed cells found on the surface of the skin from damage. 
Keratin is also present in the hair and nails and is a significant part of their makeup. As hair is composed almost entirely of keratin, it makes sense that lack of keratin movement can lead to weaker, thinner strands of hair. This niacin derivative, however, induces the production of keratin to ensure the process of keratinization may occur within the hair follicles. This is vital for the growth of strong, long hair. Niacin, or more specifically niacinide, has been shown to increase the synthesis of keratin. Now let's take a look at niacin and hair growth, a trial study in human subjects. In 2005, Drelos et al. explored the use of niacin derivatives as a possible treatment for female pattern alopecia. Using 60 female participants, researchers split the group into 40 receiving niacin derivatives treatment and 20 receiving a placebo treatment. The participants were photographed at the beginning of the study, as well as at the three and six month marks to determine an increase in hair fullness, if any. Unfortunately, research is lacking when it comes to the treatment of female alopecia. While this study did show promise for the use of niacin derivatives in the treatment of female hair loss, the exact mechanism was unknown. Researchers, however, did speculate as to two possible causes for the success. The first possible cause is the increase in density of hair follicles. The second is the increase in the quality of already present hair shafts. As niacin has been shown to improve blood circulation, decrease inflammation and rebuild keratin, the two suggested causes above are certainly plausible, plausible uh, though further research is required for a definitive answer. Now guys, let's have a look at how to add niacin into your hair care routine. Vitamin B3 is a naturally occurring vitamin found in high quantities of certain foods and such foods include avocado, asparagus, sunflower seeds, green peas, liver, fish, mushrooms, peanuts. Niacin found naturally in foods does not cause any negative health effects. It is possible however to experience side effects as a result of over supplementing with vitamin B3. Common side effects include flushing, stomach upset, liver dysfunction, glucose intolerance and even blurred vision. Consumption of alcohol in addition to a niacin supplement can exacerbate the side effects known as flushing, so avoidance of alcohol is advised. While further research is required, preliminary studies done on humans have shown great promise for the use of this vital nutrient in hair loss reversal. If you're looking for a quick hair loss treatment, however, niacin isn't it. Its various abilities can certainly be beneficial and there are a wide array of therapeutic uses for niacin, but the majority of its benefits associated with hair growth are indirect and therefore take time for adequate results to be noticeable. If you'd like to add niacin to your usual routine, I first suggest ensuring that your diet is full of niacin-rich ingredients just like avocado and fish. Just remember guys, it's always going to take a multi-pronged approach, there is no magical cure to hair loss. I hope you enjoyed this video and please make sure to hit subscribe. Thank you.